The next tab I want to discuss is the categories tab. I didn't choose to use this for my specific timeline, but you can organize your events by category. So if you go here and you click on the new category, we can say history or something to that nature. You come up with a title and you can change the background color of those events. So you can organize the events on your timeline by uh, title or by, um, well, by title. The next tool that I want to talk about, the next tab that I want to talk about is the categories tab. If you go down to the, if you click on the categories tab and then create a new category, you can actually organize your timeline by that category. So if for me specifically in this case, if I wanted to talk about different players, I could make a players category and associate all of the um, events that had to do with players and I could sort them that way. So this is a great feature for uh, a timeline that has multiple things going on. So if you can only create one timeline and you wanted to include multiple categories, let's say people, let's say uh, different Negro Leagues, different uh, managers of Negro Leagues, different people who integrated um, Major League Baseball, you could do that here in the Categories tab. And you can change the color here, uh, the layout, the number of rows, the size, all of that. And again, like anything else in Tiki Toki, you have to save or cancel your uh, your changes.